Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 10 using the Add or Remove programs. Due to security concerns and in light of the recent spread of ransomware infections such as WannaCry, it is recommended to disable the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol or SMB. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on Disabling the Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 10 using Add or Remove programs. These steps also apply to Windows 8.1, so if you are a user of Windows 8.1, please follow the tutorial instructions to disable SMB version 1. SMB or Server Message Block version 1 is a legacy network file sharing protocol used for sharing files and other devices between computers. SMB version 1 is outdated, insecure and can leave your system vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks as malware and ransomware can exploit the weaknesses in this protocol to gain access to and take control of your system. This protocol has been replaced by more modern and secure versions so it is highly recommended to disable SMB version 1 as it could leave you susceptible to attacks. If you would like to read more info about the server message block version 1 protocol and why it should be disabled, as well as WannaCry's ability to exploit weaknesses in SMB version 1, you can read the articles linked in the description below. To begin today's video I would like to direct you to the article which I have now loaded in my browser, which will be our guide to help us in today's video. So please open up this article by clicking on the description below, or copy the URL shown in the address bar of my browser. This article goes through all of the reasons why SMB is considered insecure and outdated, and why it should be disabled, as well as the key advantages of later versions of SMB. Please read this article for more information about the server message block protocol, and you can check out similar articles in the description below. So once you have read through the article and understand the importance of disabling SMB version 1, please scroll down to the section of the article where it says, SMB removal isn't hard, then scroll down to where it says, on client the add remove program approach. This is the approach we'll be using in today's video. First we are going to highlight where it says appwiz.cpl then right click and press copy or you can press Control and the C key to add it to the clipboard. Next press the Windows key as well as the OR key to bring up the run dialog. Then paste in the text by pressing Control V or right clicking and choosing paste. You can then press enter or click OK. Next, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off in the top left menu. This window will take a few seconds to load. Once it is loaded, you should see a list of all of the Windows features, programs and protocols that can be enabled or disabled. Scroll down until you see SMB1 slash CIFS file sharing support. Untick the checkbox beside SMB1 then click OK. Windows will then apply the changes and then prompt you to restart your PC so that the changes can take effect. Click Restart now to immediately restart your PC. You should see the Configuring Windows update screen before and after your PC reboots. Once Windows is reloaded, if you wish, you can check that the changes were applied correctly by going back to the Turn Windows Features On or Off window and confirming that SMB is disabled. To do this, press the Windows key together with the OR key to bring up the Run dialog, then press Enter, as appwiz.cpl should still be listed in the Run dialog. If not, then please retype appwiz.cpl, then press Enter. In the Programs and Features windows of the Control Panel, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off in the top left menu. Scroll down to where SMB is listed to check and confirm that it has been disabled. Once you have confirmed that SMB has been disabled, you can close the Windows Features window and the control panel to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on Disabling Server Message Block Version 1 Protocol on Windows 10 using Add or Remove programs. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page and the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.